It's coming. Yes, that's the one. Stop, push. Yes. Good. Again. Wow. I think we'll have to stop on this one. <laughs> Today, I had a session with arguably the world's most famous Thank tennis coach, much. Patrick Moratoglu. For those of you that don't know, he owns his own tennis academy, has combined over 1.4 million followers across social media, and currently coaches Simona Hallett and formerly coached Serena Williams. This took place while I was training at Moratoglu Tennis Academy for two weeks, building up to some futures tournaments, so a perfect opportunity for him to give me some advice. When we got onto the court, we had a chat about specifically what I wanted to work on, and two things came up. First, the backhand slice, working on keeping it low, and two, the backhand, specifically the defensive backhand. Now, my backhand's always been a little bit of a weakness in my game, and I've showed you last week that I've been practicing a lot to work to improve that. So I was super excited to see what Patrick could do, what tips and tricks he could give me to try and improve my backhand. So let's jump straight into the session. From, from what I see, your slice backhand has pace. Yeah. I guess it's when you are moved to the side that you're losing the pace, right? Yeah, because I can't go like forwards yeah, to backhand. Exactly. Yeah. So what I propose to you to do for the moment is do some slice backhand, being super slow with your arm, mm -hmm. but feeling that you really lean on the ball. And what you can do is hit slow and after your shot, pass your leg to make sure that there is a real transfer. Yeah. Very good. Again. That's it. Very good. That's it. Perfect. Perfect, this one. Yeah. Slow. Yes. It's okay. Make sure your hand... Up. Make, take your racket. Okay. Make sure your hand goes always in the direction where you want to play. Yeah. If you hit here, the ball is going to float. Yeah. If you drive it, drive it really long, mm -hmm. and your, rack, your hand always goes where you want to hit. So of course changing the technique on your slice isn't something you can do within a day, it takes practice. But what Patrick's doing okay. here is basically just going Everybody. through the motions that I should be yes. doing so I can Super. practice it more in the future and I can get used to it. Great job, again. Super. Good! How good is that? Okay, very good. One thing is important, take your racket again. Okay, the contact point, it's really on the side. Yeah. Okay, because if you hit the ball on your side, you can drive it very long. If you hit it a bit here in front, this is where the ball escapes from your racket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to keep it, in a way, you can kind of roll your, your, your uh, shoulder. shoulder inside, inside, hit here, and then drive it. Let's do it slow. You can play slow for the moment. Well, quickly guys, I just wanted to say we are so close to 100,000 subscribers and when we hit it, we're going to be doing a huge giveaway on the channel. So go below the video and smash that subscribe button to help us on the road to 100k. So after Patrick gives me some advice, I usually take his tips and try and give it a go. Of course, it's not going to be perfect every time, so that's why you see him sometimes coming and just correcting little things in my technique. Have it! Yeah. Yes, that's very good. That's excellent. On your side. Okay, again, again. A bit more, a bit too much in front. Let it come. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Very good. Again. Now, technique in tennis is very yeah. complex. So Patrick here is breaking it up into little bite-sized chunks. And every time he comes to talk to me, he's adding yes. a little variant very to good. the technique, again. which makes it more manageable to deal with. Bravo. Super, super. Great. Bravo. Yes, great shot. Great job. Great job. Super great. Super good. Now, you're gonna start here. I'm gonna feed you some. You're gonna run, yeah. because the ball is gonna be on the side. And what is very important is the moment you get, so no problem to hit the ball on your side. Don't, don't hit it too much in front. Once you're in touch with the ball, what is important is to, to follow the ball with your body. Where do you wanna hit? You wanna hit cross? Look, I hit and I push cross. You wanna hit down the line? You run, and the moment you're in touch with the ball, you push it with your hand and your body, always in the direction in which you want to play. But now I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Tennis Clash. Tennis Clash is an online PvP tennis game with super high-end graphics and a really fun playing experience. Oh, it's on the line. And just have a look at the iOS reviews. It's literally insane. I've been spending time practicing and playing the game already. So let's hop into a game and show you guys how it works and see how good I am. The actual game mechanics are really easy to use. You just need to swipe with your finger the faster you swipe, the harder you hit the ball, and the slower you swipe, the slower you hit the ball. It's very intuitive and it doesn't really take that long to understand. 
Oh, I need, to, I need to practice more at this game. You can tap with your finger exactly where you want to like move around the court so you're never kind of caught off guard. And they even have Hawkeye reviews. How cool is that? So I'm three love down here. I need to really start focusing. My opponent seems to be a bit of a pro. All right, 3-1. The comeback is on. Good serve. Good angle. It's all about playing the angles, playing the different shots. Oh, and that's how it goes. 7-2. I lost. So I need to practice. A little bit more. I also love the fact that you can choose which type of player you play with who have specific attributes based on what they're good at. Now you can also change your agility, serve and forehand and all the other attributes of your player based on what you like playing with. I personally love big forehand and big serve like I have in real life so I can equip different pieces of equipment like the racket to suit my playing style. So make sure that you download Tennis Clash with the first link in the description. I've also created a clan called Tennis Bros 2022 so download Tennis Clash and join my clan and maybe I'll play against some of you guys. Now back to the video. Ready? Go. That's super good. Again. Wow. Excellent. Again. Wow! <laughs> like it, huh? In this drill, I was super surprised by how well I was able to do it and how relaxed I was being. Just moving the body, going in the direction of the slice, I think really made a difference. Okay. We go cross. Go. Again, again, no problem. Let's go. And you push. Excellent. Bravo. We're going to give you the same one, but higher. Ready? Great job. We oui. let it come to you and lean on it. Super great. Like it. How do you feel? Because I feel like I've got more of like a stable base. And then you hit and I feel like I know where I'm going, committing to it rather than just chip it in, you know? Yeah. When you chip like this, you yeah. can lose it. <laughs> yeah. When your body goes with the, with the hand, they're together. This is where you have the best control and you, because you also keep the ball longer in your racket. The longer you keep the ball, the more control you have. Super good. I give you one, one extra one. So the bonus drill is a shot that Roger Federer uses to get his opponents off the court, hitting a high slice really short. So the players were, had to come in, there was no other option, and they were here playing worst possible position on a tennis court. What do you do after that? Especially against Roger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Just want to show you. Here's Patrick giving it a go. As you can see, it's pretty tough, so I wasn't sure whether I could do it. Yeah. If you don't succeed first time, it's fine, huh? Yeah. Oh yes! Woo! Look at that! Yes! Perfect! You're good! I think we have to stop on this one. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to beat this one. Yeah, yeah. And what uh, the last advice I, I want to give you when you're gonna work on your slice backhand yeah. is to play with the ball, mm -hmm. which means that when you do slice, yeah. with you hit with someone. Always do it technically the way we, we've talked about it, but yeah. play like giving a bit more acceleration with your wrist to have the ball faster, a bit higher, a bit more angle, hitting the ball more on its side. And if you play a lot with that, you're going to feel unbelievable. And then once you, you'll be in a match, you'll, you'll know exactly what you want to do. Now it's about getting the feel of the ball with slice. And yeah. for that, playing, literally playing with the ball is the best thing to do. Uh, you want to play, hit a bit uh, your, your yeah, 200 backhand? Yeah, that'd be good. On your backhand, I just want to see what you're doing. So high balls with spin, huh? So now onto the backhand, probably less technical here, but more actually movement based and wrist based. So here I'm just warming it up and basically looking to hit shape when I'm on the defense and try and hit a good angle when I'm on the offense. Okay, what do you want to do on those balls? You want to play high dip? I think you I want to be aggressive? Some of them where I was aiming cross, they were good because they were kind of go going off the court. Okay. The ones where it was a bit deeper and I'm having to choose between taking it early and moving back. On kind of both of those, if I take it early, it just kind of lands middle and short. So you prefer to move back? And okay. if I kind of moving back then high with spin so that they can't attack. Okay, so take your racket with two hands. Okay, the trajectory of your racket yeah. goes a bit like this. Yeah. So that's why it's difficult for you to find the, the type of ball you wanna, you wanna hit. So what we're gonna do, first you're gonna move back and you're gonna hit dip with spin, yeah. okay? Which is actually on clay, a very good shot because if you move the opponent back, you have a good chance to be able to hit a forehand on the next one. Mm -hmm. So take your racket with two hands, okay. The idea is when you contact the ball, your hands lift the ball up 
lift the ball up yeah. and finish here, yeah. okay? So the trajectory of your racket for the moment is a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. I want your, so first your wrist have to be really free, free to accelerate. And they have to, do, to, to literally go from this position to much higher than the ball. Yeah. Okay, so first we just do that. Let's go. I can't lie, I was pretty nervous actually playing in front of Patrick. Again. So kind of staying loose and being loose with the wrist was okay. actually pretty difficult. I think as well why I left some of these longer parts in the video is because it's really important to show kind of the detail that he's going into as some of you guys, you know, could learn from it. I definitely learned a lot in terms of how I should be hitting the backhand and what principles I should put in place to try and hit the best shot. Okay, stop. How did you feel? I felt like there were two or three which were very good. Yeah. There was one that kind of landed very deep and was kind of going through with lots of spin. I think it's not what number one about seeing where the ball's going to bounce and being in the right position. Mm -hmm. So like I said, trying to get back, but then sometimes if it lands a bit short, I can't just stand at the back end camp. And then like you said, just feeling like I'm having the wrists free. Yeah. I think that was sometimes I just get a little bit locked. I try and force it a little yeah. bit too much. So getting the right balance of not being like too loose and like can't even hold the racket, but squeezing and kind of going over and having this right like arc okay. and positioning. We're going to do one thing. Yeah. Get ready. Okay. The ones that were good, you kept the ball in your racket. Yeah. The ones that were short, the, the ball went out of the racket very early. Yeah. So what you're going to do, once the racket is in your, uh, sorry, once the ball is in your racket, but you keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it as long as you can, as if as if you wanted to play too, too far in a way, yeah, yeah. out of the court, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Keep the ball as long as you can in your racket. Yeah. Yes! That's a great shot. Again. Okay, this is too short. Next one. Yes, that's much better, again. That's great. Again. Tough one. Yeah. Again, again, again. That's good, again, again, forward and push. Yes, again, great. One more. Keep your balance, keep your balance and keep the, keep the ball in the racket. Keep it, keep it, keep it, yes. Great job, again, ready, keep it, keep it, keep it. Yes, stop. I feel like on the ones which are slightly shorter now, it's a lot better because I feel like I'm coming through, like you said, and keeping on the strings. The ones which are like landing kind of here and go like really high and I'm off balance. Those are the ones, obviously difficult shots anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But the reason why is this. And as you're falling, the ball just leaves your racket too early. Yeah. That's the reason. So you have to be able to go fast here enough. And if you don't have time and you caught in a way, stop. Use this leg to stop and be able to push forward. If you push forward and you keep the, rack, the ball in the racket, you'll be able to play deep. Mm -hmm. If you are caught, and, and you accept that your body weight goes back, then the ball is gonna for sure go out of your racket too early and, and, and drop short. Yeah. Okay, but it's, I think it's much better. Let's add the wrist now. We do the same. Get ready. Okay. Hold your racket really light, mm -hmm. really light, and feel that there is, it's, it's completely free. Mm -hmm. If the ball goes in the fence, we don't care. Leave yeah. it free, okay? Yeah. Great shot, again, same. That's a great angle. Yes, super, super. Again, keep it long. Great shot. Great, look at that. Ready, stop, and you push. Super. Last one. Stop. Super. Last one, last one. You want to finish on a, on a better one. You can do better. Ready, and you push. Okay, one deep one, please. Very deep, you can. Yeah. Stop, push. Yes, perfect. You did a great job. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks. Thank you very much. Cheers. That was good. <laughs>